What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. I am back with another video showing you guys how to install jailbreak apps on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch running iOS 10 without actually jailbreaking your device. Now this video is a bit of a requested video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Instagram++ on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on iOS 10 without a jailbreak. That's right, this does not require Cydia whatsoever. You're going to get a lot of extra added functionality in the tweaked Instagram application and you only need to do a few things beforehand. Really, really simple guys. Let's jump right into it. So like I said, there are a few things you do need to do before actually installing the Instagram++ application on your iOS 10, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. First off, you obviously need the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that you want to install the application on. I'm going to be installing this on my iOS 10, iPhone 6s right here. You are also going to need a lightning cable and a computer to hook up your device to. I have my iPhone 6s with the lightning cable and I have it hooked up to my MacBook Pro here. I'm ready to go. The second requirement is that you do need an Apple ID. If you want to actually use your own Apple ID, that's completely fine. If you are scared of your credentials getting stolen or something like that, you can go ahead and create a second Apple ID to do this. Link is on Apple's website. It's really, really easy and only takes a few minutes. So make sure that you do have a working Apple ID. Next up, be sure that you download and install Cydia Impactor. This is the computer application that we will use to install the Instagram++ application onto our iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. The link will be down there in the description. This takes a couple of seconds to download. It works on Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux, and it's really, really simple to use. So go ahead and download it, and this is what we will be using for this tutorial. Along with the Cydia Impactor, I will also have a link to the Instagram application down there in the description as well. This is the actual Instagram++ application that we will be installing on our device. Go ahead and download that too and save it in a spot that you can easily find. Now before I actually get into the installation process, I know a lot of you guys actually had questions on my Snapchat tutorial, which is similar to this Instagram tutorial, and you guys said that the link in the description either was outdated, or the file was taken down, or the tweak itself wasn't working. So I just want to let you guys know that sometimes these tweaks actually need to be updated as well. When the App Store developer releases a new version of the official application, sometimes the tweaks themselves are actually knocked away and they don't work anymore. Also sometimes the file on the internet itself was taken down by the developers. I'll let you guys know, just let me know if the application is not working or if the tweaks aren't working. I'll do my best to find out what's wrong and I will let you guys know either in a following video or I'll actually put an annotation or something in this video. So just let me know if it's working or not. I will be more than happy to help you guys. So first up first guys, go ahead and open up Cydia Impactor on your computer. As you guys can see, I have it open here on my Mac and make sure you're running the latest version. Go ahead and just click the settings menu and then check for update. As you guys can see, I have the latest version right here running on my computer. Next up, go ahead and find the IPA file that you downloaded for the Instagram++ tweak. All you have to do is go ahead and take the IPA and drag it over Cydia Impactor let go and you will get a pop-up showing your iTunes email login screen. Go ahead and type in your Apple ID and your password. Don't worry guys, you won't have your credentials stolen. This is just so you can sign the application to install it onto your device. But for those of you who are a little bit sketched out by this, that's why I told you guys to actually create a new Apple ID at the beginning for the sole purpose of installing it on your device. So I will come back when it is actually entered and we are installing it on my device. Okay guys, so I actually went ahead and entered my Apple ID credentials and as you guys can see, it looks like it is signing the IPA now, installing the application onto my iPhone 6S here. This is actually to be expected. It should take a minute or two. It will eventually pop up right here on your home screen, and then you can go ahead and start using the application. So I will come back when it is fully installed onto my device. Okay, guys, so it actually did pop up here on my device. It is the Instagram++ application. If you do tap on it, you will see that it has an untrusted developer. All you have to do is go into the settings application, go into general, then scroll down until you see profiles and device management. Management. Scroll down until you see your email address that you actually entered into Cydia Impactor. Click verify. It will verify the application and you should be good to go. Just go back to the home screen, open up the plus plus application and you should have it working just fine. So I've logged into my Instagram account here guys and as you guys can see there is a new Instagram settings section after installing the plus plus app. You can actually see a custom feed type which allows you to change the setup of your newsfeed. I'll show you guys that in a second. You can actually choose the default 
feed type and you can actually change the explore feed type as well. You can change the number of columns in Instagram all the way up to 10 from one at the minimum. You can hide the sponsored posts. You can disable the stories, show a full timestamp. You can allow full screen, hide comments. All these awesome new features in Instagram just from actually installing the tweak. You can also even download media. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how some of this works. As you guys can see, I have a minimal news feed on here. I can also go to the full news feed here. If I go ahead and hold on a photo, it will make it full screen. You can also go ahead and download videos straight to your home screen. You can see you can save the image. All that good stuff right by using the plus plus Instagram tweak. I also like the minimal look of the news feed. Makes it a lot easier to see photos quickly if you're just trying to find something at a glance. So in terms of what number of columns actually does, if you go to the Explorer feed, you will see that I have six columns here across. If I go ahead and change that down to three and I go back to Explore, you will actually see that it changes to three or it at least should change to three at a glance makes it easier to view photos quickly again very very cool feature a couple more cool features of the Instagram plus plus application is that you can actually spoof your followers count you can go ahead and enter a direct followers count that show your friends or fake your friends into thinking that you have millions and millions of followers you can also verify your account by clicking this little verified button kind of a cool feature more for jokes and nothing really serious there guys but it is a cool little feature that comes with the plus plus tweak you can also change the notification sound. It might make it a little bit easier to know when you're getting an Instagram notification directly as opposed to a text message or something like that. So overall, guys, that was the Instagram Plus Plus tweak. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up as well as follow my Twitter, my Facebook, Google Plus page, and my website page all down there in the description. Also be sure to check out the links down there in the description to get paid iOS and Android apps 100% free. Easy methods to do that and it works very well. Be sure to stick around for more videos on Twitter weeks on the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch in the near future. This was a requested video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.